guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing today, I'm so excited. I'm going to be adding a little bit more fall in. I just cannot help myself. Take some Dollar Tree items and turn these into fall tier tray decor. I think this is going to be so cute. Now you could still do this even if you do not have a Cricut and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on. So I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday for a DIY. Okay, so I already have Design Space loaded here on my computer. I'm going to go to the circle with the plus for a new project. And this will put us on our canvas. Okay, so what I want to do is go to images right here on the left hand side. And right here at the top where it says search all images, I'm just going to type in fall and hit enter. Okay, now this will bring up things that I've uploaded and things that I've just found. Now this right here, I'm going to be doing this. It says fall and I'm going, you have to be a Cricut Access member because it has the little A there. So I've clicked on that. That'll put a green box around it. And then I've uploaded this and I can't link it because I don't know where I found it. I say that I Googled fall images and I found that. Then we're going to do a leaf, and I want to do this leaf right here. It's also Cricut Access. Okay, and that's all we're going to be doing for now. So I, I'm going to the bottom, Insert Images. That will put us on our canvas. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the first project I'm going to make is this, and it's going to be a print then cut, but we're also going to be using Cricut's wood veneer. I am so excited to do this, okay? So for this, the little basket, I want to, I'm going to click on it. I'm going out from size. There's a little lock. I'm going to unlock that backspace and I'm going to put I want it 2.0 wide and then I want it to be 3.0 in height okay and that's that one okay so for fall here um, I just want I'm going to click on it go back to size unlock that and I'm going to go to I want it to be 3.0 wide and 2.0 high, okay? I think that's going to be so cute. And then this little leaf right here, let me zoom in, but it's going to get bigger. This one right here, okay? I want it to be, we'll go out from size, unlock it, and I'm going to go 1.8 by 1.8 okay and then lock that back so we have three projects if you look over here in the layers column this is a basic cut okay the leaf is which is what I want and then this right here the little um, basket with pumpkins and things this is a print then cut which is what I want and the word fall is a basic cut Okay, so we're going to go to make it right top corner. I have my Cricut set to custom. And I'm going to be loading some Avery sticker labels in the printer. And then we'll print this out. And then we'll just, after that prints, then we'll this will go into a cut. We'll cut that and we'll cut that with the wood. Okay, so we're going to go to continue right bottom corner. And we're going to send our first one to the printer. And I want to leave my bleed on. You can make as many copies as you want. Like I said, I have the HP Office Jet 5740. It's linked in my Amazon store if you're interested. Then I hit print. And the next time you see me, we will be cutting out these adorable wooden shapes. Okay, I realized that you didn't get to see... Um, 
me set the settings for fall and the leaves so I don't want to leave you hanging so I needed two leaves so I decided to duplicate it so I just clicked on that and hit duplicate and that's how I got my second leaf so I'll exit out of that now we're going to make it right top corner all right we're going to go to continue right bottom corner okay then when this comes up browse your set materials what we want to do is browse all materials now I've already made it a favorite but you browse all materials in this search box type natural wood and then there it is you click on that that puts a little check mark if you want to make it a favorite you click on that star and you hit done okay and that's as simple as it is okay I have my light grip mat here now I don't know what's going on I changed my ink in my printer I've never had this problem before and I calibrated it but it's doing it's having bleed over in places that it doesn't belong and this never happens and I've printed it out several times but I don't want to keep wasting my um, sticker paper and I just set the custom material to washi that's what I always do now I'm going to hit the blinking arrow and it's just going to cut this out. But let me show you this. This is what we're using with some of our uh, projects today. I went to Michael's. They had a great sale by three, by one pad, get two free. So I picked up this one and two others, but this is what we're going to be doing. Okay, then let me eject this. Now, when you do the washi setting, this just sort of peels off like this. And it ended up not bad at all. It just cut out all that extra. But I don't know where that bleed over is coming from. Then I'm just going to put this right on. I got these little tags at Michael's last year. I got a whole bunch of them for $5. And I'm just going to put this right on here. Okay, and you could put some Mod Podge on that if you wanted once this is good and dry. But I think that's adorable. That's our first piece of decor for our tiered tray. Okay, then this second one's, the rest of this comes from Dollar Tree. I just took a Dollar Tree, one of those square cubes that they have. And I painted it white all over with the um, Waverly chalk paint and plaster. Then I took the Waverly chalk paint in truffle and I just kind of went around the, um, like the edges here to make it look older. And then after I did that, then I found that scrapbook paper and I put it on opposite sides and then I painted this dark with the Waverly chalk paint and truffle as well on both ends. You could do it however you want it. Now I'm going to embellish this side and this side. So I'm really excited. This will be our leaf, okay? And then this other one is going to be using one of these Dollar Tree little square things too, okay? So for this, you need to do a few things different when you're using the natural wood veneer. I have the walnut. They have two other colors. They have cherry, and I can't remember the other one, but it's real light. You get two to a container, and you have to be real careful with this stuff, but this is it. Is it not beautiful? Oh, I love it. Okay, now you have to get, um, I didn't have it, so I had to purchase a deep point blade housing right here okay so that's what you need for your explorer or your maker so to insert that i'm going to take my old one out it's real easy to do that and i'm going to get the new one and you just open this up slot b you drop your blade down in there and you close it. That's as simple as it can be. Now you also need a strong grip mat for this. And I had these for a while. I picked this one up at Walmart, I'm really not sure. But that's what you need. And you're going to need a brayer as well. 
Now, since my leaf is going to be small, I'm going to cut out some of this. And then my word fall is not going to be that large either. I'm going to put this down right here. And I could have cut it straighter. Okay. Okay, now you'll need to get some painter's tape. I have the blue because you want to make sure this does not move when you're cutting this. I'm just going to put it right on the edge and tear off anything that might hang over. Same thing for the bottom. Put it right on the edge, tear off the excess. And then you want to put it along the sides, right up against the very edge. You don't want anything that could get hung. You really could like cut these smaller. Okay, we have that done. Okay, now for some reason when I did this, my option did not come up to pick natural wood veneer. And you have to because it didn't cut all the way through. So you got you have to make four passes and the, and the Cricut knows that and knows the depth to do with your deep point blade. So I went back again and got totally out of it, came back in. It may just have been a little glitch. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Um, and then I just typed in natural wood veneer and it popped up. So I chose that. So now we're ready to cut our last two. So I'm going to insert it with the blinking arrow and cut with the blinking C. And I retaped down my veneer. And really you're supposed to use a brayer to put it down, but I didn't because I really think that this is going to um, hold my mats new. So, and what you can see here, if you can see it good, it's making four passes, <clears throat> excuse me, on here to cut this out. And then it will go to the next leaf. Now, sometimes I've heard that you can cut into your uh, mat, so I hope not. We'll see. So it's finished with the first leaf and it's cutting the next one. But these are going to be so pretty. You could put these on so many things. I have so many ideas for fall. You are not going to believe it. And sometimes the three tiered tray decor or the two tier tray can be so you can't find what you want. So, we'll, un we'll eject this. I'll take this tape right off of here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is lift under here. Oh, it worked perfectly. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to try to... It says to take these little tweezers. You can mold these leaves if you want. Just have to get them a little wet and they you can mold them. Just want to be real careful. But look at these. We made them. They're adorable. I think this is so cute. Okay. So what I want to do with this one is right in here, I want to put a leaf. Oh, I think this is gonna be Okay, safe. I picked up my premium Type Bond 2, which is what I needed the other day and didn't have. This stuff is so good, it will definitely work. But I can see where it would be so easy to um, curl these leaves if you wanted them curled. 
they'll curl very easily. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. Is that not adorable? I love it. Okay, and then we're going to put the other one over here. You could use any type of wood glue and that would work. And if you're interested, I have this linked in my Amazon store. And I'm going to put this one the other way. Okay, here they are. Are they not so cute? Oh, I love them. Okay, so that is that one. Put this right in the back down. Look at that. That would even be pretty to put on something just like that. I think that is so just beautiful. What you can do is amazing, okay? So we will take this and we will do the same principle. Yeah. We'll insert this, hit the blinking arrow, cut with the blinking C. And it's doing the same thing, cutting over this four times at the certain pressure that it feels that it needs. And we're just going to say fall with this one. There's so many possibilities, really. You can do so much. I love this. And the thoughts that you can curl that wood, oh my, what we can do, but just look how adorable. That is. You can have total customized three tier tray. I love it. And you can do it, like I said, with your Air Explorer or your Maker. When you do the words, just make sure that I think very small, like thin, skinny print would not work. I'm afraid it would break. So I chose something that looked kind of big and chunky, and then that's what I got. But I love it. Okay, this one's finished. We're going to eject it. We're going to take our tape off. But this is very beginner friendly. Don't let it scare you just because it's veneer. It's not hard. This is the first time I've done it. Okay, and then we're just going to pick this up. And then we're delicately going to turn this upside down like this and start this releasing itself. Okay. <laughs> and there is our word fall. Look at that. I love it. So what I want to do with this is put it right here. And I think I'm going to get those um, little blocks. You could get them that would stand out or not. I wonder which way it would look the best. I think since this, I think I'm going to try some uh, balsa wood. But anyway, let me put this on here. Same principle. I'm going to put it on my finger. Flip this over. Because this is veneer. It's very um, thin. So you're not going to, it, it's not going to hold itself up. You would have to get a heavier wood and the Cricut will cut that. We need to get a little brush to apply this. And you probably don't have to have it all over just in the points that's touching. Okay, you can put it straight across, but I'm going to put mine diagonal and just say fall. Okay, let's take a look at them. Well, here they are. Here's the first one. We did that print and cut, and that's Avery Sticker Labels. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you can still Google an image on Google and then print it out on the Avery Sticker Labels and apply it. And you could resize it in your computer, okay? 
And as far as these go, you could get the Dollar Tree wood cutouts that are already there and put them on your blocks. So you can do this whether you have a Cricut or you don't. And then look at that, how cute. And I went ahead, this is one of those Dollar Tree little houses. I painted the side with that Waverly truffle chalk paint. I put this back on it and then I cut this and I wanted it to be a little different. So I made it a little shorter and a little off and I love it. I did it for the front and the back. And then with that fall sign, I think these are adorable. But just look, and we made them all ourselves, totally customizable. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So, I will see you tomorrow for a DIY. Until next time. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. I thought I'd hop on here really quick. I don't have my three-tier tray out, but look at that. I thought I'd give you an idea how they would look. They are just so pretty from every angle. They really look nice. And then here is the, that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had a wonderful time making this. Uh, as you know, these are my favorite projects, fall and Christmas. There's just something about them. I know I'm a little early, but I just can't help it. Until next time. Bye, guys.